let's get on with the show now we're still monitoring what went down uh in that news that says that um Abbey angels have been disqualified from the 2017 ito cup let's go to local jail it's important we we know what's really happened we've listened to the chairman of Abbey angels let's go to local jail where at the media officer tosin olorun lake ojo uh is standing by to talk to us good evening tosin welcome to sports tonight Good evening. Thank you very much for the privilege. Good to have you around. Also, uh, Tosin, how did you guys uh, receive the news uh, saying Conference Queens will now advance to the semi finals instead of Abia Angels and will now play Ibom Angels? Tell me, how did you guys receive that news? Yeah, I must tell you the welcome development for the Conference State team. Though before the match against Abia Angels, we already got the report that Joko Dolu Queens that they played in the knockout stage protested concerning the license of the Abia Angel side. So, you know, as a team that is constant with latest reports as regards the game of football, we kept to this information. So when we played against Abia Angels in the fourth leg, we discovered that some of their licenses have been dotted. When we protested, we tried to protest in the fourth leg in uh, Umaya, you know, because of uh, the home advantage and the connection we couldn't make progress in the protest. They denied us the opportunity of protesting because there are procedures. If you want to protest for anything you are not satisfied with, you have to get the licenses of the player you are not satisfied with. You need to get the picture alongside the match of issues, which we were denied on Umaya. So we just, you know, as a team that understands the rules and regulations of the, of the game, we kept to this in the return feature there in Lokoja of which they came with those line fences. I will tell you that nine players from Adia Angels have, you know, fought in their line fence. So because we understand the rules of the game, we protested before the match, took some snapshots with the match officials, and we followed the normal procedure, which later paved the way for us to qualify to the semi-final stage. Make me understand what you mean when you say nine players, nine players had faults in their licenses. What sort of faults? Yeah, some of the licenses brought by Adia Angels, you discovered that, you know, the stamp of uh, the Nigerian Football Federation is not on it because each license of a player has to have the official, line, uh, official signature of the Nigerian Football Federation in the front and the back, which is not there among some of these licenses. What we discovered they did was that some pictures of unregistered players were being used of which we, pro we protested, and maybe when the match comes, submitted all this, you know, information to the appropriate authorities, and they cross-check with the details they have the game, I think they now discovered that we have a good case, and we're giving the ticket to the semi-final. Mm. Did you guys um, lodge this complaint uh, before the second leg match, or it was after the match? We complained even before the second leg match, of which other angels are aware. Look, let me tell you this. Immediately the game, you know, finished here in Lokoja, it was obvious, complaint screen, we get the ticket from the reaction of the officials of Adia Angels. Say, for example, the camp commandant of Adia Angels almost beat up the match come to get the license of the team back. And that was the same thing they did against Joko Dolu Queens. When they played against Joko Dolu Queens, they didn't come with their licenses. It was after the match that they presented their licenses, you know, for that match, which is not supposed to be like that. Hmm. So, um, situation. okay, let, let, let's talk about the psychology of the team now. Uh, you're going to play Ibom Angels if this goes on. Already is Confluence Queens. Yeah, well, we are everly ready, though we're not happy in the match against Adia Angel in the return feature because it's a match that we also have won like, you know, 8 10 goals. But the players were wasteful, they didn't take their chances. If they are taking their chances, would have qualified on the, you know, on the field of play in the 90-minute regulation of play. But I think those errors are things that the technical coaches realize after the game that they need to go back to the drawing board and work on. What we did is this. When we need that, we are going to protest for the game against Adia in there. We kept training, preparing the mind of the players that we still have a case and they must prepare to play the match against the Bombs Angels. Mm. Tosin, I must say thank you very much for um, your updates. Uh, we'll continue to uh, monitor the situation as regards the Women's ITO Cup. Thank you so much. So now it's, it's over to you guys. You, you, you've listened to the chairman of 
uh, Abia Angels, and of course, uh, Tosin uh, from Confluence Queen says, look, uh, I and mean, look, it, it, tells us, it tells us a story that we are on the right path, if this is actually true. Uh, you don't just go and play football just to play football. You should check administration. You should check uh, to ensure that the rules and regulations are not being breached. Very, very important. Uh, for Confluence Queens, they paid attention to all of that. I should mention that uh, the, their forms didn't have the stamp of the Nigeria Football Federation. So I said, wait, wait a minute. I'll, 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 I'll have the stamp. How come they don't have a stamp and then they put that down? Say again, no signatures. Come on. And these guys brought this form. Okay, we're going to see what we do. And then pictures of unregistered players. Uh, no, it's totally unacceptable. So let's see uh, what will come out. Abia Angels, they're going to contest this. Uh, but the NFF, they've brought out their release, and that's what got us talking, that Abia Angels have been disqualified. Chairman said, look, I don't know what they're talking about. Uh, Tosin said from the time of Jokodulu, that they knew something was wrong with Abia Angel. So it's post tonight on Channel Television. You know, right here, we will break it down for you. We'll continue to dig and let you know uh, what's going on. But before we go, uh, let's just show some love to the four connects, let you know uh, that the that the women are on the 20 team, the Falconers, they will go all out for victory. They're going to play Tanzania in that second 2018 FIFA uh, Women's World Cup uh, on Sunday in Dar es Salaam. Remember, they won the first leg by three goals to nothing uh, right there at the Sam Bermudia Stadium in Benin. And they're hoping to just, you know, get it all done when they play uh, the second leg right there in Dar es Salaam. The coach, Christopher Danjima, uh, says uh, they are ready, but uh, winning the first leg 3-0 doesn't mean that they will go to Dar es Salaam and be complacent. He believes that um, they will take their chances when they, they have it right there in the second leg. So that's it. All the best to the, uh, the four connects. We will uh, continue to monitor them when they touch down in Tanzania. And if possible, yeah, trust us. Right here, Channel Sports, we're going to uh, bring you updates right there. Let's just talk some volleyball. Let's find out what's going on uh, with volleyball before uh, we get on with the show. Nigeria uh, is getting ready for the African Volleyball Nations Cup tournament. It will take place in Cameroon for the women and in Egypt uh, for the men. Uh, the Technical Committee of the Nigeria Volleyball Federation, they said they have cut down the number of players in preparation uh, for the competition. That one also we're going to keep monitoring. It's post tonight on Channels Television. Let's uh, take some time out now, listen to Marion Yali. Uh, you hear her talk about athletics and the way forward, particularly in terms of athletes switching allegiance to go, you know, feature for other countries. When we come back, we'll be talking to us athletics, or they will do that with speed. Don't go anywhere. Stay. I had every opportunity in the world when I was competing to switch nationality. I was offered everything under this planet, but my heart won't let me. We all are different. We all have our needs and our uh, reason for switching. I don't encourage it. It doesn't mean, because I didn't switch, does not mean that the next person may not want to switch. Athletes' life and sports is very short. So that small window that is left for you to build yourself, your career, personally, financially, and all, all whatnot, is very short. So people tend to not have the patience to wait for themselves to mature and blame it on governments not being supported. Yes, the government is supposed to support you to a certain extent, but you need to also develop yourself and invest in your own self.